Hello guys, today we're gonna practice creating your homepage to look like this. And if you are not the lead developer of the team, please go ahead and open up the project that you created yesterday, which was called Review Application. Or if you were Team B, you probably your your application probably was named Review Team B Application. And so go ahead and open Android Studio and search for your um, search for your project. If you cannot find your project, uh, if uh, you have the Android Studio open up this way, and you find out that a check at the top of your uh, your Android Studio uh, does it have your app's name? If it's not your app's name, then you have to uh, close the project. Okay, so you're gonna go click File. Close, close the project and then you your uh, old project would probably come up on your left hand side so open your your old project uh, mine, my, my project was review application so I go back to review application um, Right now, it's loading. And if you are the lead developer of the team, you have to start creating the team project now. Um, by doing so, you have to uh, uh, go ahead and close the project and click Start New Android Studio Project. Or you could just click from here, you know, click File, New, New Project. Okay, for the lead developer, you have to create a new project. So your team name, this application, it's a my application, but it should be your team application. Just put your team name here. It could be... Uh, Tiger Team, Tiger App, something like that. I don't know. It's up to you. And then remember how you create a new project. You need a web a domain name, the website name, all lowercase, no space. Save it at the desktop. Click next, and just keep going next until until you complete. Next, um, don't touch anything, don't change anything. Next, empty activity. Next, main activity, and click finish. But you know, I I'm not a lead developer of your team, so I'm not gonna click finish and click cancel. And now I'm back to my old application that I was working on yesterday. Still loading again. Um, when you are done loading, uh, you're gonna navigate through the design file, uh, as you call layout file. So you're gonna click drop down app. Drop down rest, drop down layout, and um, you're gonna see activity main.xml. That is the file that you wanna work on your design. So double click on that, and so apparently I have been working on it a little bit. It should be. Hello world. Um, so you probably have something like this. You have changed your background. You have the text say hello world. Um, in the bottom of your screen, it has the word text. It has the word design. And you have been working a bit on the design part a little bit. Now we're going to learn how to uh, 
drag and drop things. Um, let's try to uh, drag a button and drop into your screen. On your left hand side, click on button, click and drag it, drag it, and drop it, uh, dro dro drop it somewhere in your screen. There you have a button. And when, and then look on your right hand side, there's the uh, properties area here. Um, you can change the width of a button. Right now it say uh, wrap content, but what if it's match parent? It looks big. Match parent is mean like it's trying to fit uh, the screen. Layout height, what if I say match parent? Whatever. Big, right? You can change things around. Um, you can change uh, to number. You could say 100 dp. Enter. Uh, height. Um, 50 dp. dp That's how you uh, change the size. Number and end with dp. What if it's like 150 dp? What happens? Isn't it fun? And then we gonna change um, We want to change the If you want to change the button text You look for text here There's a word text here And Right now it's written but button Change to something, change to click me. Click enter. Click enter. Now the button is changed to click me. What if you want to change the uh, text to color? Hello world. Click on hello world. And look at your right hand side, things pop up. I don't want the word hello world, I want the word. Uh, hello you enter I type in hello you enter now hello you is there and I can change the size like um I say match parent what happens uh wrap content so you see what's going on right and if you want more buttons you just have to click a button on the button, click, drag it, drop it, anywhere. You can do, uh, click on other things, success progress bar, click, drag it, drop it. See? Um, so now you know how to drag and drop user interface easy um, we're gonna continue in the next video the next video um, on how to actually code on design okay on in the bottom of the screen you could sit, click design you could click text you could uh, in the text you could actually type in things and code here so in the next video we're gonna do that all right see you in the next video